Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel we are going to be counting down the top 10 sellers for the month of April. Now these items are items that people have purchased through my recommendation, through my Instagram, my YouTube, my Pinterest, and my Facebook pages. All of those will be linked down below for you if you are interested in following along with those. And if you are new around here, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here with my channel. So last month I had a couple people asking, I have some new followers here, where I actually get the information for the top 10 sellers. Now this information is provided to me through a company called Reward Style. Reward Style is what I use for my linking. So any of the links you see down below, it gives me tracking information. It tells me if the links were purchased through, what was purchased, and information like that. If you're over on Instagram, you might see Like to Know It. Reward Cell owns Like to Know It. It is their shopping app that you use through Instagram and Reward Cell is the actual company that I partner with. So with that being said, let's jump in. Now I always start at number 10 and work my way down to number one. Number 10 is an item that I actually posted a collage or, oh no, you know what it was? It was a daily alert. It was an item that I saw that I alerted you guys to that I wanted to let you know about. And I did purchase it myself as well. So it definitely was a good one. This is a journey and it is a band tee dress. Like look how stretch. This is the softest tee I have ever felt. So this is actually a dress and this is an item that I was thinking of wearing with like a jean jacket, a pair of sandals, just a cute casual option for in the summertime, spring, and whatever time of year. You can wear this into fall with a pair of over the knee boots, a pair of tights. It just has so many ways you can wear it. I love a good graphic tee and a band tee even more so and I love the band journey. I mean who doesn't? So so I figured this would be a great option. Give it a try. And I think it was around the $20 mark. It is from Walmart. It is the brand, it just says Journey. Here it is, I found it. Gray by Grayson Social. It is really, really nice, guys. It's so soft and I'm super excited about the stretch to it. I did purchase it in a size large for reference. I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized. I'm typically a medium or a large in a tee, but just in case it shrinks down, I might've been able to wear a medium, but I like to be comfortable. I'd rather be comfortable than trying to fit into a certain size, quote unquote. Now this next item is still in the number 10. So a lot of times people buy multiple items of something. So let's say 30 of that t-shirt were purchased. Then there were 30 of something else purchased and so on and so forth. So another item that tied for that for the number 10 spot is this blush here. This is an oldie but goodie, guys. It is what I have on today. It is NARS in the color Orgasm. This has been around forever. This is kind of one of those colors that works on most skin types. It's kind of a peachy pink. It has a shimmer to it. I actually layer it. I use the NARS multiple in the color orgasm and then I put this on on top of it to set. But I absolutely love this and I actually recently, my old one was kind of like, you know how after you've had powders for a while they kind of get a little bit, they're not lifting up the pigment. My old one was like that so I decided to pick up a new one during the Sephora spring sale that they had and I'm glad I did because I was using the multiple with the other one but this one has more pigmentation to it. So I'm very glad I replaced my last one. Now there was another item that tied for number 10 as well. You guys really liked some of this stuff and I have two of them. I have a olive green pair and a black pair. They are from the brand Wild Fable. They actually come in nine different colors and these are a jogger legging. So typically a lot of the joggers that we saw over the last year were more kind of full and baggy. These actually run more like a legging, are a little bit more tapered. You may have seen them all over my Instagram because I've been wearing them like crazy. They are super comfortable, very easy to wear, true to size, I believe. Let me check and see what size I get here. I get these in a size large on my bottoms. I am definitely a size large or a size 10 typically. I can wear an 8 in some items, but for comfort level, I prefer a 10. So these are really great. They are under the $20 price point. I think they were around $16 or $18. Um, the link will be down below, but these are just so nice. They're tapered at the bottom. They're super comfy. They have a good amount of stretch to them. They're just a really great option for a, for a new twist on a trend. Number nine had a tie for two items. The first item is an item that I did a wear test and review on and that item is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, Lengthening Mascara I think it's called. Um, I did a full review on it. It was not a mascara that I particularly 
loved or it was just the brush I think more than anything else I actually got rid of it it was not one that I was going to use so unfortunately I don't have that to show you now the other tie for number nine is something that I have talked about time and time and time again I have three of them it is the way Cole red carpet ready convertible strapless bra so this is my old one I have a little I think I've talked about this before it has a pull in it it's getting to be that time of year where we're wearing more tank tops, more things that we might need a strapless bra with. I have a black one that I have had, and this is my new one that I bought actually last July and haven't had a chance to wear it yet. And it still has the tags on it. It has the straps on it. So these straps, you can actually make it so it's a crisscross. You can make it so it is one-sided. You can wear it as a traditional bra. Now here is the important part with this bra. This actually has this kind of grippy plastic through here. It is not down at the bottom here, but it does start right there and run all the way along the band on the bottom and the top of it. Now I do get this in a size 34D. I'm typically a 34C, but I find in this, it just, something about it, it just works better for me in this size. So that is something to be aware of when you are purchasing. I love this bra. I have raved about it for years. As I mentioned, I do have it in the three colors. This bra, I jokingly say, I've never found a strapless bra that worked for me and like stayed up. I was always like tugging at it. Nobody wants to be walking around trying to look cute, tugging at their bra to keep it up. I always had an issue with that. This one, I say I could go out and run in this and I would be fine. It would stay where it was. It is a really, really awesome bra. It is on the pricey side. It does sometimes go on sale on Nordstrom. If you put it in your wish list, they will actually email you when it goes on sale. A lot of times during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which is coming up in July, they do have it on sale. That is when I picked up an extra one of those then. Number eight. Now, number eight is a splurge item. I am shocked that so many of you bought this. It is a serious splurge item, guys. And here is why I picked it up. I already knew I liked these brushes. This is the Artiste Elite Collection. This is what it looks like. So here's the thing. I had already owned one of these. I used it for foundation. I absolutely loved it. This set, I think, is $310. maybe $10. It was marked down on Sephora's site to like $215. Then I had a 20% off discount. It made each brush like I think it ended up being under the $10 mark. Was it under $10 or under $20 mark? It is so good. I am so excited. I use every brush in here except for I think two of them so far. And every single day I use this one for my foundation and I absolutely love it. The next item that tied for number eight is actually a pair of jean shorts that I don't own personally. I should probably pick them up and see how they are because so many of you have picked them up. And it is the Sophia by Sophia Vergara for Walmart. It's like the Lilia Midi Calf jean short, I think it is, cut off jean short, something like that. They are $24, $25. I love a good pair of jean shorts with stretch. Sophia Vergara has hit it out of the park with Walmart with their jeans. I love their boyfriend cut jeans because I like to take them and cut them a little bit shorter so they're the right length for me. And I don't mind doing that on a less expensive pair of jeans. I'll link the boyfriend jeans I love down below as well. But a pair of shorts that you don't have to worry about that are just got some, hers all have good stretch to them. And they're made for curvier girls. I'm a curvier girl. So the fact that she made them and made them with stretch is just so good. And that's such a great price point for a pair of jean shorts. Every day over on my Instagram stories, I generally do, I pick a theme for the day and do a collage and pick some items like, let's say jean shorts or sandals or beach hats. And I pick different ones and actually give you a collage of some different options if you're looking for these and you can just go to the Like to Know It app and find all of the suggestions I have there. I will link the Like to Know It app down below if you are interested in following along with me over there because there are sometimes items that I post there that are not on my YouTube or on my Instagram, things that are going on flash sales or things like that if you're interested. Number seven is an item that it was actually on sale at Nordstrom for a while and if you know this, MAC products do not go on sale very long, very often. This is the MAC lip liner in the color Whirl. It is what I have on today. I have two of them. As you can see, one is definitely more used than the other. I love this lip liner. This is my all-time favorite lip 
color. It works with so many different colors on me, so many different lipsticks. I tend to go for that kind of like mauvey, pinky, purpley kind of lip liner. There's a swatch of it right there. That is my go-to kind of tone for a lipstick. So the fact that I have this lip liner, I just love it. It has been one of my favorites for many, many years. Number six. Number six is an item that I found. So I have a little setup where at this house here, and this is our summer home, this is a spare bedroom. Look, we got new uh, nightstands too, but anyway. I have my desk in a closet here. So when people come over, I can close the doors and all of my office stuff is out of the way because we only have one office here, we don't have two. So this makes it so both Marty and I can work at home at the same time without bothering each other. That being said, I actually use a ring light and use the bar above me to give me a light here. Now that being said, I will show it to you. This is a ring light. This is the one I'm using right now. Let me turn it off for you. It is from Target. It is $29. It comes with a tripod. It also comes with the little iPhone holder. So let me turn it on and we'll see. So it has two, three different colors. You've got a bluish color, a warmer color, and a cooler color. It goes up and it goes down as far as how much light you need. It is just so good. I actually picked this up last year, but I did a whole collage about these because I love this brand of swimsuits. So last year, I kind of, A, put on the COVID-19. B, I was at the beach so much more because we got here last year in April. And so that being said, I just wanted a more comfortable swimsuit. And since one pieces are in, I had heard everybody raving about this brand. And I was like, okay, I need to give it a try. Well, I bought one, then I bought many more. I think in total now I own five different ones from this brand and it is a strange name it's like the blue by ron betty brand i buy them at nordstrom this one was on sale this one is the urban goddess keyhole necklace i think it is so it does have a keyhole here it goes straight across the back it has this kind of like slimming area in the center. It is good coverage on the back of it and it doesn't go up too high on the hips. These are made so well. Now they are pricey for a swimsuit. They are typically $118. I find them on sale anywhere from 50 to 80. The one I recently bought in the last month or so was 80. This one was marked down to 80 as well. Here's a fun little tip that someone told me or I saw someone talking about it is, you know how now body suits are all the rage, but you have to like, they tuck in funny, they don't always like slim you, you know. Somebody said, take a black swimsuit and put it on with your jeans and maybe like this blazer. I might do that and show you guys what it looks like. And it is the best bodysuit. It already has a built-in bra, everything. It gives you so many options. So I think that's a really, really cool little tip and trick. So if you are looking for a new swimsuit this year, that brand, hands down, I absolutely love it. I have a couple more on my wish list that if they go on sale, I'll pick them up. Next item that also tied is the Shiseido Sport BB SPF 50 Foundation BB Cream. I have this in the color medium. I have a full wear test on this. Here's the kicker with this, guys. The biggest thing to take away from that wear test was the fact that I always do color swatches down my arm to show it against the other foundations that work well for my skin tone. And when I went to wash the swatches off after I had shown them in the video, this wouldn't come off with soap and water. It stayed. What got it off was a cleansing balm. And it wasn't like I had to scrub, but the oils from the cleansing balm got it off. But this, if you are looking for something in the summertime that has SPF and does not move, this is amazing. Here's the downside. Very, very few color selection in these. I have this in the color medium. It works great for me. But if you are someone that like loves the it, CC cream. I love the look of that, but it melts off my face halfway through the day because I'm oily combination. Give this a shot. Number five. All right. Number five is an item that sold out during the Sephora sale. It is sold out at Nordstrom last time I checked as well. I think I found it at 
Where did I find it at? I found it out somewhere else. So this is by NARS. It is a new product. It is their, let's see the actual name of it. Sun Kissed Bronzer Cream. I got this in the color Laguna. They do have it in the color Casino as well. This is what it looks like. Let me give you a little swatch here so you can see it. It is so, so, so pretty. So natural, so pretty, so pigmented, so easy to apply. So this is what I have on today for a bronzer. I am not a like sharp line bronzer person. I want it to just warm my skin up and I actually also have it on my lids. It's all I have on my lids. Just a little synthetic brush on the lids, one and done. This is going to be a go-to item for me all summer. Now I will say, I tend to dip it in here and then tap it down on this so not as much product goes on as soon as you touch it down and then you can go back into this for the second time. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous product. It is $38 and I think it'll last quite some time. If you remember the Chanel, it used to be called Bronze Universal or the Less Beige, I think is what it's called now. like makeup base or something that to me pulls very orange on my skin and does not work for me back in the day i thought it did it does not this is what i always wanted that to be i also have tried the one from tarte and it's good there's just something about that color of that one that just looks so natural and so pretty there are other options out there as well for cream bronzers now but by far, that is the best one I have tried. There was a tie as well for number five for this one. It is a sweatshirt from Target from Universal Threadline from them. It comes in three colors, I believe. It was $25 and the last time I checked it was on sale for I think $21. But this is an item as well that I had shown over on my deal of the day. I think when it did originally go on sale, it was one that I had put up there and possibly maybe in a collage or something or maybe it was a bestseller one week but you guys definitely picked that up number four is another sweatshirt from target it is from the wild fable brand i remember specifically posting about this because i love the tie-dye one they had i did not personally pick it up but it comes in nine different colors it was 22 dollars to start with and i think now it's on clearance so that means they're getting rid of it guys for like 16 or 18 dollars. so if you are interested definitely check that link down below the number three item i almost put on today but i was like i can't because i have to show them in here so these are from levi's the levi's from target now i have tried levi's before they don't usually work for me because they don't have much stretch these actually do. This is the 724 high rise straight cropped jean, I think it is. And actually, so here's the thing. I am a size 10, start with that, okay? And typically straight leg jeans on me make me look very wide, up and down. And they tend to, even though they are cropped, almost be at my ankle for me. That is my problem with this new style. I love the look of it on other people that are taller, that are slimmer. It just doesn't work on my body type, but I found a way to make it work. I found an inexpensive, the Walmart ones are the one I started this with because those are $20. These were like, I think they were 50 and they were currently on sale. It was only like a dollar off. I think they were 49, right? So they come in six different colors. This is the color I chose. It has a little, little bit of distressing just on one leg and then down at the bottom. Now these I did not need to do this with, but typically I do. And I got these in a size 31, just for reference, um, if you're interested in knowing. But cropped jeans, most times, I end up actually cutting the bottom of them. I take them, wear them in a mirror, roll them under, see where I wanna be, and then I cut one and use that piece that I cut off as a template for the second one so it's at the seam. It does not have to be straight. You don't have to worry about that. And when you throw them in the washer and dryer, it then distresses the edge up. This is why you don't have to worry about them being straight. I did not do this. This is how these came, but that's why you don't have to worry about it. Like, look at these. So you can cut them and just have fun with them. So if this trend is a trend, the straight leg crop jean is one that you wanna try, but you think like me, they just don't work because it makes you look wider. This is a way to make that work because when you cut it, it actually brings it up a little bit, which makes your leg look longer because you can see more of your 
ankle and your leg than it being very like long and straight. And also when it's a little bit shorter, it doesn't look as boxy. Now that part's just an optical illusion because truly it's exactly the same how it goes up and down. But these are a great option if you want an inexpensive pair of jeans, but not, they're not super cheap. But the Walmart ones for Sofia Vergara, I think were $20. One pair I got was on sale for 13. So if you wanna give this a try, that's a great way to do it too. The number two item, guys, usually the number one, two, and three items have so many set like multiple items that are in that stage but this month you guys all love the same things so this is from the brand a new day from Target and this is their exaggerated shoulder tank so it does not have a uh, shoulder pad in it it's actually material you can see how it's a little bit darker here it's folded over it does come up high enough that you don't have that open gap on the side but the material is actually looped over. Can you see how it sits? And then it goes down to normal. This one that I have on here, the gray one, is also the same exact thing. I have the yellow one in my cart because I want to get that one, but I have to buy something else to get free shipping, so I refuse to buy it until it's got free shipping. But the gray one that I have on here is the same thing. Because it does not have shoulder pads, it is very easy to layer under things as well. And the best part about these tees, they're $10. I think it comes in five or six different colors. There was a mint green, the gray, the white, the black, and the yellow. I think so, five colors. They are amazing. They're super soft, very stretchy, and $10. dollars It is a great way to try a trend if you're not sure if you'll like it or not. Number one, the number one item. So this is something that you guys picked up. I have two in the older packaging. It is from Laneige and this is their sleep mask, lip sleep mask. I have the original, which is kind of like a vanilla, bubble gum, I don't, berry maybe. Then this one is berry or something like, it smells, gummy berry, that's what they call it. Gummy bear, it smells like grape so good. I actually never take the samples with Sephora and they had a sample one and I was like, oh yeah, that is great. So I have all of these. Now here is the downside with this product. This product comes with a little spatula thing. I've lost all mine and I'm pretty darn organized. The new packaging actually has a spatula inside of it. So it's not sitting out separate. It's in the container or in the lid. It pops out. You can use it to get the product you need. I just use the edge of my nail. I know that's gross, but that is what I use to do this. And these are so, so, so good. It is around, I think they're $25, $26. However, I will mention that this one, the pink one, you can get through Walmart for the last time I looked, I think it was $17 or $18. So if you're interested in trying it out and you don't mind losing the little spatula, this might be a way to get it from Walmart. But the new packaging, when I am done with these, I am very excited to try it. So those are my top 10 sellers for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on anything I talked about in this video, or if you have an item that you have picked up from my suggestion, I would love to hear about that down below. If you are new here on my channel, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here with me. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day.